Are you tasked with business development or sales or customer contact? I've been there and all of a sudden, there comes a time when you run out of ideas or reasons to reach out to customers. The voicemail message or the email message that says, hey, I'm just checking in with you, gets old. And by the way, that's what everybody says. So that isn't really one of the most effective ways to keep in touch. Do you have an annual plan of how and when and what to talk with your clients about? If you had a template that was easy and quick to reference and productive for you to strategically and creatively keep in touch with your clients without being a pest, would you be intrigued enough to reach out to me? My name's Carrie and I have one. I'll be glad to send it to you. I have a template that makes it easy for you to become productive. It also encourages you to listen further when you are in conversations with your clients. Let me know if you're interested. I'll send it to you at no charge, but let me tell you a little bit more about it. When you attempt to differentiate yourself from your competition, besides what you're positioning for your prospects or your clients to buy, how much do you really know about them? Harvey McKay says, we need to know at least 66 things about our clients. He has a wonderful template. You can Google it and download it. It's extensive. Mine's not quite that long. When you're in conversation with your prospects or clients, polish the skills of listening for information that they may share with you about their personal habits or lives. What's important to them? What events are they interested in? What are their passions? What are their children up to? If you capture those and write those pearls down and leverage them in future conversations to build relationships, you'll start to differentiate yourself. For example, have you Googled somebody or have you linked in to them and you're watching their postings or you're watching the social media activity? You search and start to follow them, you learn more about them. There may be sports pictures or kids or them at a football game or a fan. How can you tie in to build that relationship stronger? When that season is here and it's going on, you now know what their team is and you can have a reason for keeping in conversation with them. It becomes more personal. It's beyond business. We buy from humans. Oh, and by the way, what are you selling? Do I need it? There are three steps to organize and build a super simple annual plan for keeping in touch with your clients. What you need to do is make an hour appointment with yourself for this project. The first step, mine your database. Create a list of the prospects or clients you want to market your products or services. If you don't have a database, no problem. Make a list from your files, your memory, your stack of cards or proposals that you were sent out but you weren't awarded. Who do you want to do business with? List them. Step number two after you've made your list is make a list of as many reasons as you can to keep in touch with your clients or prospects. Okay, the real ones, and then go back and add crazy reasons. How to keep in touch with them, why to keep in touch with them, how could you surprise them? Those are differentiators. Step number three is the final step, and this is where your work gets organized. But it's also pretty simple. Email me. In the subject line, say, I'd like your template for keeping in touch. Simple, it's easy, it's free and what you do would input your ideas annually and monthly. It's quick. Creatively, you'll list all of the wonderful reasons you've come up with to keep in touch with your clients, and it makes it easy to accomplish monthly. Follow-up is so much easier when you have a master plan, and the saying is true, out of sight is out of mind. Help your clients and prospects keep you top of mind. So when, knock, knock, your competitor knocks at your client's door, they answer, but you remain visible in a creative, non-invasive way. Our goal is to keep you on their radar screen of your ideal clients or prospects. When they need you, they think of you, and I'd like to help you grow your business. Thank you for watching. If you're on YouTube or iTunes, please subscribe. For more information, visit us at resultsforbusiness.net where you can see other great videos and access cutting-edge coaching and training to help you and your business.